Okay. Welcome to another edition of Happy Hummingbirds with Ethan Wayne. We're at Zaga's View Gallery in Solana Beach. You know, the northernmost part of San Diego, I'd love to show you around, so come on. Here we have a Montreal-based artist. She does a lot of circles, she uses resin over the top. Isabel Bobian, brilliant. We have our Austrian artist, Zagorski. She loves to paint abstract flowers. Aren't they wonderful? This is my favorite. Here we have Frank Arnold, the world's great figure artist. Sometimes his paintings take up to six months to dry. Just look how thick the oil is. Over here we have Javier by Perez. He paints from his childhood whimsy. We have an incredible sculptor. Oh, but let's not forget Salvador Dali. An incredible sculptor, Blank Rankin, became a full-time sculpturist by the age of 18. I met him in Santa Barbara on a motorcycle adventure. Pablo Picasso, you probably never heard of him. Another Pablo Picasso. And over here we have Virginie Schroeder. A master of color. This one's called Eternal Diamonds, Marilyn Monroe. And she is Montreal based as well. Would you believe it? She actually loads a syringe up with paint. And that's how she paints. <clears throat> Here are a couple of my latest pieces. This one entitled Blue Love. And lately I've been playing around with the idea of not using paintbrushes. Actually, I'm going more janitorial and using squeegees. So that's how I created these. This one as well, I haven't named it yet. It's just so fresh. I'm not sure. So anyways, we're gonna have a fun time today. Hopefully it's a happy time. Um, we'll be painting another happy hummingbird. This is the fifth one that I've done in the last two and a half months. Originally, Gail reached out to me and said, hey, we want to do a, a virtual tour with you guys. Um, let's do an event. And they said, what do you want to do? I was like, well, maybe I could play Bob Ross and do a paint set, so that's where we are. Um, on that note, today I'm going to be drinking some kombucha, hard kombucha. This brand is called Bootstrap. Uh, I think it's Escondido in San Diego County as well. So if you are partaking in cocktails, this is the time to open up and pour into your, your favorite braille. So let's do that. Mmm, so pleasant. So it's like a, a feel-good drink, you know? The Gatorade of alcohol. During this presentation, if there's any party animals out there, remember this. When I say happy or big decisions, that's your cue to drink. So happy and big decisions. Delicious. All right, let's go over what we're gonna be doing today. This is our subject right here. 
I painted it earlier today. Got a little crazy. It's an abstract hummingbird with the colors red, white, and blue. And since we're still in the month of July, I thought those colors would be apropos. So red, white, and blue, that's all you need today. As you can see, with those colors, we can make a little pink and magenta, a little lavender and purple. And so gather those together. And then also, very quickly, gather some old business cards or, or old credit cards or library cards, because we're going to do the background with that, OK? So I'm going to put the paint on these, and we're just going to go. So real quick, take a little break and go find some business cards. In the meantime, I'm going to rip the cell band off of my canvas. Oh, and also, we have a very special animal guest. But not only one animal guest, but two animal guests. So get ready for that. We have um, an entomologist in the house. Uh, do you have a degree in entomology? Zoology. Zoology. She's got a, a degree in zoology, apparently. And she also runs a parrot sanctuary, right? Yes. Hi. Yes. <laughs> so look forward to that. And uh, you know, just within like the next 30 seconds or so, you should have your business cards ready. And we're gonna get started. Mm. That was a happy sip. The golden lion medallion with a diamond in his mouth. Indiana Jones was looking for one of these in Raiders of the Lost Ark. He never found it, but I did. All right. Okay, everybody. Who's ready to paint? A happy hummingbird. Let me just find my palette. Here we have it. All right, so first, is, first things first, we're going to put some, some paint on the palette. And in this case, I think we're going to start with good old fashioned red. Okay, so take your red. You probably don't have as much of me. That's okay. I'll just put a little bit on there, just like so. And then take some Blanco. Blanco is Spanish for white. All right, like that. So get that on your palette. And we're just gonna start there. So pick up your trusty business card or old credit card, library card. And we're just gonna start moving some paint around. No real rhyme and reason to this. Actually, you can close your eyes and do it. I like to do that quite a bit. And just kind of see what happens. Just like that. We're not making any real big decisions right now. This is just very free flow, stream of consciousness type of painting. Don't think about it that much. Just let your hand move over the canvas like you've done it a million times. 
Maybe like you're brushing your teeth. A repetitive motion that you can never forget. It'll fill you up and it'll never let you down. I think that's a Miller Lite commercial. So yeah, what's, what's really fascinating to me is that when you mix the, the red and the white together, in most cases, you get pink. And that's what I see here. So if you would like more pink, keep mixing. If you would like more fiery red, that's just fine too. Keep you moving around and if we, uh, I'm gonna zoom in over here on the edge. I'm actually painting the edges as well with my business card. You know, this is actually kind of like a mini squeegee, just like the one, the pieces I did in the back, right? Just a miniature, miniature type of squeegee tool. I don't think I'd clean a window with it, but I'll tell you what, it really lays down some acrylic paint fantastically or swimmingly for any of you swimmers out there. So keep going there. See if you can get all the edges. It's, it's always annoying when I finish a painting and I realize that my edge isn't covered up with paint. Then I have to go back and do more steps, make more big decisions, I don't want to make that many. But look at that. You know, if you could take the, the edge of this thing, look kind of like a knife and see what happens. I don't know. Just like that. So I got some nice whites peeking in here. I got some nice reds over here. And. You know, I don't know, it's starting to look like a Barbie greenhouse. Not that that's what I'm going for, but maybe you are. Maybe you played play with a lot of Barbies in Canada growing up. Um, I know my niece really loves that. I was never a fan. Yeah, I was it's more into nature. I, uh, I was a nature boy. Mi madre used to call me the nature boy. I used to collect turtles and snakes and frogs and toads and salamanders. So put some blue on your palette and some white. I think it was in the fourth grade, Mrs. Bryant's class, south of Chicago. I'll never forget it. I had collected just a treasure trove of animals. I kept them in my little treehouse. Snakes, salamanders, bullfrogs, painted turtles, snapping turtles, toads, salamanders. Mrs. Bryant used to do show and tell once a week, and we had just started the school year. I was so excited. She asked me, would you like to do show and tell? I was so happy. I was like, well, I know exactly what I'm going to show and tell about. This is I had spent the last six months collecting my wonderful reptilian and amphibian pets. I used to play with them every day in the treehouse. 
It was so much fun. Make sure you get the edges over here again. Okay. This is interesting. This this one, it's it's kind of like we've got the feminine pink on the top and the masculine blue on the bottom. No, I'm not having a baby. <laughs> but, you know, I'm at, I'm at that age. I'm getting up there. My mother often asks me, are you going to have a baby? I don't know. I don't think about that. Anyways, Mrs. Bryant, she set the date next Wednesday, 8.30 in the morning, show and tell, bring in your pets. I couldn't sleep for a week, I was so excited. I wanted to show off my pets so badly, I had to the painted turtles, the snappy turtles, the bullfrogs, the toads, the salamanders, all of them. And they used to play like they were best friends. So Tuesday night, I didn't sleep a wink. I woke up extra early. And at that time, it was probably like 7 a.m. I went outside, I ran outside to go and collect my pets. Let's touch base with the painting for a second. Make sure you got that blue on there. Good job. I actually like this one a lot better than that one. That happens a lot with painting, you know? You do one, then you do another. You think it's gonna come out the same, but it never does. It never does. Look at that. So it's all, all of a sudden turned into turned into an ocean. Brilliant. So we'll toss our business card aside. I'll wipe my hands on this wiper bag. And then we'll go back to I ran outside to go collect my animals, put them in a bucket or two to bring in the show and stuff. Fourth grade. I think we're talking nine years old or something like that. I don't remember. And um, I opened a door of the treehouse. And all my pets were dead. Pull from belly slit open. Toads half eaten. Salamanders gone. That was devastating. The turtles, though, they got the shell, right? They got the shell. Got a hard shell. Those kinds. They just had bloody numbs or limbs. Bloody numbs. They tried to walk. It would just stick up with bloody nose. Their heads would pop out. They were still alive. So dramatic. Couldn't believe it. I was devastated. I didn't know what to do. I started screaming and yelling and crying. All my pets are dead. All my pets are dead. Tears. Red face. Eyes as big as saucers. Face a dog. I ran out of the treehouse. I didn't know where to go. I ran to the forest. And I found a log and I sat on it. And I cried. 
All my pets are dead. All my pets are dead. My pets are dead. Now what? I'm not going to school ever. I quit school. My, my mantra, excuse me, running into the forest, she follows after like a, like a good mother would do. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? What's the matter? Tears, rage, confusion. Mom, all my pets are dead. All my pets are dead. They're all good. I think she won't talk about it. I'm never going to school again. I never went to school again. Fourth grade, stopped my school career, picked up the paintbrush, grabbed a cucumber, just All right, anyways, <clears throat> we're gonna work on the hummingbird now, okay? Rebuero El Bluo, Spanish for blue. Put it on your pal. Just like this. See that? Whew, it's getting kind of hot with this curly hair. Okay, we're gonna, now it's it's for reals. It's time to paint a really happy hummingbird. This hummingbird, this hummingbird scale one to ten, probably about an eight on the happiness scale. But the one we're gonna paint now, it's a twelve. Okay, so in this case, we're going to use a brush like so, and then just in a few minutes, we've got some special exotic animal dust. Okay, all right, mine's a little wet, dry it off a little bit, blah, blah, blah. Pick up some blue paint, let's load the brush, load it up. Look at this, just loading that thing up. Okay. How about that? We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna start at the head. I always seem to start at the crown of a hummingbird for some reason. Now nah, I don't know why. Um, so yeah, see what happens. I'm gonna go over to the right a little bit. So let's work on that. You just put a little bit of, just make a little, make a little half circle kind of. Cruise down to the neck here, arena. And then, yeah, make a little beak, a little beak shape. Come down, come down, come down, we'll right to the body, a full body, a beautiful body, just like that. And none of the tail feathers. Shake the tail feathers. I wonder what you guys are drinking out there. Do we have any questions? Is anyone lost at this point? Is anyone lost? You guys doing okay? You guys got the background figured out? Was that tricky? It was a business card. Tried to make it easy for you. I don't know if we have any real artists in the house. Everyone's an artist, by the way. There's no such thing as a real artist. Some artists just decide to deliver more soul expression than others. How much soul expression have you been delivering into the world? Are you in love? Do you have a calm mind? Do you have a fit body? Do you have a house full of love? Are you flying on the wings of love? Would you slay a dragon for somebody? Would I slay a dragon for you? You never know. Maybe I would. 
Okay, see how I'm doing that? Just kind of, okay, now we're gonna go work on the front of the neck. Come down, come down, coming down. This one's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than the other one. Drinking and painting is a little trickier than not drinking and painting. Sometimes, sometimes it actually works out real well. Actually, I'm starting to like this quite a bit better. So, see how I'm doing that? Just kind of slowly making some edges. Look at that. Yeah, this one's, this one's quite a bit better than this one, this one. Actually, I think I put too much splatter on this one. I, I, I went into a business earlier today and they have a beautiful Jackson Pollock painting. And um, got a little inspired with the splatter. I think it was a little too much splatter though. What do you think? We don't have to put that much splatter on there. Put as much splatter as you want. You know, it just, it, there's, there may be an excess of happy accidents on this one. Um, but that's okay. It'll be our little secret. We're not going to stress over it. Actually, we're not going to stress ever again in this life because there's no reason to, is there? There's no reason to stress. No worries. Bob Marley, right? Don't worry about a thing. Everything's going to be all right. I woke up this morning, smile rising on, three little birds sat by my window. I'm saying, don't worry about a thing. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. Get the rest of that paint off of there. We're going to be. All right, everybody, get ready. It's got some special, 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 special. And we'll guess what you're now. I'm gonna set my palette down. And yeah, so let's just get the, we're just working on the body right now. We're not gonna work on we're not working on details. This is about getting the, the shape. Focus on the shape. Do you have a back? Do you have a breast? Do you have some tail feathers? You got a head, you got a little beak. If you got that, you got more than the average bear. You guys, let's see a uh, uh, status check on everyone's if, uh, if you want to hold it up just so we, we can see where you're at. Wow, those look good. that looks really good, Dana. Hi, by the way. That looks really good. Wow, that's awesome. Using watercolors here. These are great, guys. That looks really good. Oh, I like the color. Over here, over here. They're still doing the they're still on the Okay. 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 Closer, closer. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, everybody. The big reveal. Remember, this is the first exotic animal guest of the evening. Not the last one. All right, let's let's zoom in here. And see what we have. Does anyone know what those are? 
These are hissing cockroaches from Madagascar. The males have a tendency to hiss more than the females. For you geography aficionados, Madagascar <laughs> is not in South America. It's at the southern tip of Africa and it's an island. Animals in Madagascar, they evolve in crazy different ways. Just like these Madagascar hissing cockroaches. We've got three males and three females and they're actively breeding all the time. This one's hissing. Look at that, he's on his belly. And apparently they don't bite that much, which is why I'm holding them. Did they so, eat your name? Can you show them? Question? question? Ethan, I asked what their names were. Do they have names? I do have a uh like 300 of them, so it would be really difficult to remember. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're going to fall? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. So we have another there. question for Lydia. Uh, she asked, what do they eat? I don't know what they eat, but I do know what eats them. And it's actually our next special exotic animal guest, the bearded dragon eats the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And what do they eat? So they eat uh, fruits and veggies, uh, fish plates, bread, my leftovers, everything. They are scavengers and they are decomposers. So they take care of the environment, they clean up, and they clean up uh, my plate when I'm done. <laughs> How about that, everybody? We will shot the hummingbird and the Madagascar facing cockroaches. July 30th, 2020. Zoom, Paint Sip, Zago Studio Gallery. My name is Ethan Wayne. My Insta is Ethan Wayne Art. EthanWayneArt.com, HappyHummingbirds.com. And uh, hope you guys are having a great time out there. What do you want to do? All right, everybody, we've got the, the predator. Can we get a, can you do this a little bit for the cockroach aficionados? I guess. This is a little, a boy. Ah. Not anymore. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's see if I get a little boy here. Hold on. Nope, they got used to it. Ethan, they like you. Yeah? Yeah, huh? they're not missing anymore. That makes sense. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> now we have the predator on my right shoulder that's holding up barely. Might fall at any second. This is none other than the bearded dragon. Yeah. The bearded dragon resides in the innermost regions of the Australian desert. The most fascinating thing about the bearded dragon, other than the fact that it eats hissing cockroaches, is that it shows a lot of affection to its owners which I haven't seen that yet. I don't think it likes me that much, but the spikes on the, on the side are freaking incredible. Look at that. It's like, an, like an, an armor. It's an armor from planet Mars. At any second, it could bite my finger off but it prefers hissing cockroaches. 
And what about the breeding? How how's the breeding work out for the bearded dragon? It's a little more. Is it really active yeah. that way too? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it more of a lot of the lot against tortoise? Yeah. Tortoise. Yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it's sorry. not a bunny rabbit. Yeah. Exactly. Not the roach. Not the roach. The roaches are always doing it. Huh? Yeah, Instead of the birds and the bees that you call it a very dragon and busy Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We actually have a few yeah. questions for you, Ethan. Um, so from Farah, what is the bearded dragon's name? Great question, Farah. This bearded dragon's name is Dino. And for those of you who love dinosaurs, that's where the name came from. It looks like a little dinosaur. It does look like a little dinosaur. Um, Lydia also asked, how many roaches a day does Dino eat? Great question, Lydia. That's a name from Beetlejuice, isn't it? <laughs> how many? So Dino is a little picky. So he eats the roaches when he eats them. Um, he goes from five to six per day, but he prefers actually worms. So I got a full collection of critters at home to please him. We and almost was, brought, yeah. we, we almost had the tarantulas on, right? Yeah, next time. And, and why did we have them on today? Because of the molting? Yes, yes. So the tarantulas so, are molting right now, but next time. Next right time. Now, three, three tarantulas, where are they from? Uh, they're from South America. Yeah. Yeah, so Brazil, Chile, and Honduras. Is it cold in Chile? Uh, Chile Rosel is one, of Honduran Kumi hair is another one, and uh, the Brazilian red meat is the third one. Yeah. Got it. So I we have one other question that. that popped up. And it, do the roaches and the bearded dragon coexist, or the roaches just food? So do they like hang out? Um, you mean for the, sorry, I couldn't get a question. Um, do the do roaches they coexist oh. when they live together? No. Actually, no, because the bearded dragon is from Australia and the hissing cockroaches are from Madagascar. So it's a food that the bearded dragon eats in captivity. But there are other roaches in Australia that they can eat and they eat any kind of moving little things. So <laughs> they, they have their food, but not hissers or hissing cockroaches. So look, let me ask you something. You, you said that the bearded dragon shows affection. Yes, they say that bearded dragons are the only reptiles that can recognize their owners and show affection. I can say he, when he sees me, he's all happy. But Would he be happy right now if I handed you? Uh, probably. Probably. He's, all right, he's let's see. Can we, get, can, we get, can we get a happy expression from the bearded dragon? That's my question. Can we see what that smile looks like in a bearded so dragon? So the smile is it's not like the smile is gonna be like all oh, like excited. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it. Smile. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it's, I don't think so now. It's kind of a mystery. Oh, okay. But he's happy when I pick him up and bring him out to my patio, and he tries to escape all the time. Do we have any hand sanitizer? Is anybody have any hand sanitizer? I I think I could use a little bit of yes. hand sanitizer before I go yes. back to the brushes. Not because of COVID this time. Yeah. Fine. Yes, that's good. It's a deep burn. All right. Okay, everybody. Everybody. A little intermission. We have a lot of things happening. I'm just gonna fill up my grill. Okay. In this case. We're gonna have a little bit of Irish beer. One of my absolute favorite Irish beer. Guinness Draft Stout. Let's 
if anyone's ever served or bartended out there, you know it's a hard pour. It's all about the head. See that? How beautiful is that? Mmm. I wonder what you guys are drinking out there. Actually, anyone who wants to comment, I'd like to know what to drink it out there. And um, happy, 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 big decision, big decision. That's five drinks. And pineapple juice. Pineapple juice? And lemon Bacardi. Dios mio. Are you Spanish? Uh, no, I'm Lithuanian. Mm. That's wonderful. Yes. Oh my God, that smoked old fashioned sounds delicious, Amy. You want to get the shot, me? Yeah. Or is it just a can of this? Yeah. I'm in this. You can see my face. Mm -hmm. Right on. Okay. Woo! I love Guinness. Man, it's so good. What a difference. Harsh kombucha and the Guinness stout, like night and day. I don't know which is the night or the day. Maybe this is the night. What is Thursday, huh? It's got Friday coming up. What do we even do these days on Friday and Saturday? It's like the week never ends. There's no weekend. My weekdays feel like my weekends. Out here in Southern California, it's like, you can't go out to a club or to the bar. But I think you can go to Applebee's. Because there you can get food. You gotta get food, I guess. If you're gonna drink. Okay. Back to the palate. All right, I'm out of white. We need some white. So we're going to need some, some white and some blue right now. All right, all right. It's like McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Hey, how does uh, Vincent Van Gogh, how does Vincent Van Gogh answer the cell phone? Hello? Oh, yeah. I mean, hello? It's a little art humor for you. Okay. Yeah. Just, you know, for a little bit of white. Like, all right, so now it's time to do, we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on doing some, um, some like whippoorwills, zippity doos, and zippity doodahs, like this and that. See that? That's what we're gonna work on. I don't think we're gonna put any happy trees in there today. Sorry about that. It'll be our little secret. Yeah, so look at that. Yeah. Mindless. Not really thinking about it. More so thinking what am I gonna eat for dinner later? So this morning I had a ribeye with some organic corn from Costco. Any Costco fans in the house? I feel like when you join Costco, it's kind of like joining a cult. It's like, are you in or are you out? 
you know, you talk to people on the street and they're like, yeah, I would never be a Costco member. Then I'm like, shun the non-believer. Love Costco. Love, love, love. I've been getting uh, like the 32 pack, I think it is. Three pounds of the chicken wings lately. It's been amazing. Then I go in, I really dig that uh, Nitro Jack Espresso. It's really good. And not a, lot, not a whole lot of sense making with this spur. We're gonna, oh, there's a little bit of a beak happening. We'll leave it there. Um, and make the tail feathers go down a little bit more. So. Anyways, back to Mrs. Bryant. Oh, so my mom's, you know, trying to console me. All my best friends, all my pets had just died. I didn't see light at the end of the tunnel. I was pretty sure life was over. What was the point, you know? All my friends were done. All my pets were done. What's the point, even, like? I don't want to go on doing this routine of school and dinners, the dishes. We, have, we, we used to have to do the dishes. You know. Dishes, trash, clean the bathrooms. Those are our chores. I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, look at that white. Look at the white. Ah. Uh, Brilliant. Oh, a lot of white on the tail feather. Super dig that. Super dig that. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Throw a little bit of. A little bit more. Stay a little blue. And the body. Give it some big body. Like that. That's what I'm talking about. See if I could. I might. I might blow the eye, but I'm in the. I'm in a mood to put an eye in there. I want to get. I'm going to switch up the brush. Uh, about half the size of the other one. Okay. So I'm going to dark. Going dark blue. See if I can. The, I might blow the eye right now. If I blow it, I'll fix it later. It's all right. It's kind of, it's a lot bigger than that one. But you know, I, I can live with it. I can live with it. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a little bit more white on the beak. And again, I really want to express that like, my hummingbird, my heavy hummingbird doesn't have to look exactly like yours. Okay? I never said that before. I'll say it now. This, this, too much splatter over here. We're not going to do that much splatter. Baller. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder what a, if a heart would be good right here. It's all right. Try it again. I'm 
no, that's not the one. I'll give it one more shot. No. All right, we're going to leave the heart out. If you want to put a heart in there, go for it. I just can't seem to get it right. So I got a lot of paint on my palette and I really like the look of texture and depth. So I'm just going to use it. Why not? There you have it. There you have it. All right, let's go for the wing. This is a little tricky. Study hands, everyone. If you have a happy accident or two, hopefully there's a bathroom nearby. How about that? Hey, Ethan, we've, uh, yeah. we've received a couple of comparisons, uh, to Bradley Cooper in the, in the chat. Oh yeah. Yeah. A, a, a couple of, uh, couple of guests say you look like Bradley Cooper and Dak Shepard. I've gotten both of those before, so thank you. I'll take them. How about Bob Ross? Do I look like him? Let's everybody weigh in the chat, if, if you will. Do you think this would be better as Bob Ross or as Ethan Wayne? I was named after John Wayne's son, by the way. They say we've got a hot Bob. And so stick with the Bob. Somber Bob Ross. Somber? Yeah. Does anyone want to hear the end of the All My Pets Are Dead story? Take that as a no. Mixed results. We're gonna need some more people to weigh in here. Four to two on the A's right now. Is it a yes? You think? I I think it's maybe like a PG version. Yeah, we're gonna do this democratically, folks. So if you wait, was the first version? You don't want to hear it. You better weigh in. Yes, please. Okay. I need to know. Yes. It looks like looks like the eyes might have it, guys. Sorry. Really? Those of you who, who didn't. Do you, does anyone want to hear another story? I've got a couple others I can tell. I feel like we're already so invested. You might, I, I'm invested. I know that. So, you know, the ending's not that far away. Um, we'll, come up, we'll come in for a landing on this one. We'll Real quick, just let me have a little sample of Irish's last year. Give me a step. Yeah. Hmm. So, anyways, my mom's like, 
You can't miss school, you gotta go to school. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, ah, I'm never going to school again. My pets are dead. You gotta go to school. No more Saturday morning cartoons, she says. That was my favorite time of the week. I think we had, um, we had uh, those ducks. Tailspin, remember that one? What was the duck show with the Scrooge McDuck? DuckTales. DuckTales, you nailed it. We had, we had Tailspin, we had DuckTales. We had Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris and Screech. So she, she pulls that, she's like, no more Saturday morning cartoons unless you go to school with no pets. I was devastated. My eyes were as big as saucers, my face was gog. My heart was pounding a million miles a minute. That was lost. Couldn't believe my life had turned into this. I went for the cartoons. Glad I did. I found a few toads. I named them after the Ninja Turtles. Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo. Found a mouse. I brought my four toads and my, my shredder into showing. <clears throat> Those kids were amazed. The toads were doing karate. We had, I fed them pizza. This newscaster named April showed up in a yellow jumpsuit. Anyways, it was the best show and tell of the year, no doubt. I flipped over three logs. I found the toads in my house. End of story. Anyone have any? Questions about that? Um, they want you to clarify if its name was Splinter or Shredder. In my, it's <laughs> a really good question. In my version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it was Shredder. Good question, by the way. Anybody else have any more questions? Someone, uh, someone asked if uh, marijuana is legal in California, and yes, it is. <laughs> that is such a silly question. So is Guinness. Yes. It is so legal. <laughs> I think you might be on mute, Ethan. I think he is too, but yeah, marijuana is so legal in California and don't hate, just congratulate. All the appreciation posts. Um, yeah, Ethan, you're still on mute. Oh, by, by the way, I, I'd really like to see everybody's hummingbirds, whether it's through social media or you shoot them on the, like, the Yelp review, shoot them over. I'd love to see them. 
Um, I think what do we have like 70 some people painting hummingbirds right now? It's a record. Last I checked, we were in, we were in the 70s, just like the parents. Darkwing duck. That's a darkwing duck. That's what I was thinking about. <clears throat> And uh, I really, really love that show, Animaniacs, that was not Saturday mornings. It was after school program. I love that show. Pinky in the Brain, brilliant. Anyways, when I paint, I've got a code. I try to tell the truth. There's 15 different truths in life, according to Gary Vaynerchuk. If you didn't know that, he told me that the other day. I try to tell the truth, but the problem is you can't tell the truth too loud in this world, otherwise they kill you. Think about it. You got like uh, MLK, JFK, Malcolm X, Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, Jesus Christ. Those people were telling the truth. They killed them all. I'm telling the truth here. One hummingbird at a time. Don't hate, don't kill. All right, everybody. I'm going to see a little touch up. You probably have to be a little touch up too. Abraham Lincoln always said, if I want to cut down a tree, I want to spend three hours sharpening my axe. And one hour chopping down the tree. Okay, so we're ready for lift off. Let's throw a smiley face at the top of this thing. <clears throat> I really like that. All right, this is an option. I did a bunch of paint splay splatter on this one. I'm going to do it on here too. And uh, so load up your canvas with as much paint as you want, as many colors as you want. Use whatever colors. You don't have to use red or red. Use whatever you want. That was way too much paint. We're, we're gonna go with it. It's definitely a happy accident and it's time to make some really big decisions on the almighty palette with the almighty palette fingers. Okay, just like this. You don't have to do this by the way, you can use a brush, but I like it, it's fun. See that?
Folks, I just wanted to chime in and remind anyone who might be tuning in for the first time on one of these virtual events, uh, we actually are opening these up to just anyone. Uh, you can go to yelpcommunity.com and we have uh, just a list of different virtual events that anyone has access to. Uh, so if this is your first time tuning into a Yelp virtual event, um, definitely check out yelpcommunity.com. We have all sorts of uh, fun stuff, cooking tutorials, cocktail tutorials, uh, tours of uh, zoos and other like national parks and things like that. So definitely check it out. Uh, and hopefully we'll be back to uh, to normal events sooner than later as well. This one turned out way better than that one. I really like it. All right. That is it. I am Benito. Look at that. Just like this? Yeah. No? Yeah? Yeah. Anyways, does anyone like to share their, I, I want to go over to the computer and see people's hummingbirds right now. I'd love to open it up. Can we unmute Danny? Yeah, sure. Feel free to, to unmute anyone. We'll we'll try to manage it as, as best as we can. Okay. Um, yeah, so unmute if you'd like. Uh, anyone have any questions or any comments? Wow. Thank you. This was great. Uh, I have a question. How did you make your, you know, the finger parts like grip it so long? Like for me, it became like more like fingerprints instead. But how did you make it drip when I had lots of paint? It still was not dripping from my fingers. You need more water. Okay. Yeah. So mix some water in your paint and try it again. Okay. I'm using something called fluid acrylic. That's the difference. Okay. And I used a lot of it too. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Let's see, can we get everybody to hold them up at the same time so I can get a, a couple of photos? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at green really splatter. Who's, who's that? Jana? I can, Dana, is that right? Dana. That's Dana. Awesome. Dana. That's incredible. Great job with the green. I like that. Okay, is this is this video color? I know Yay! Here are Oh. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Cute. Probably. Beautiful. It's it's like a hummingbird rising from the ocean, like a phoenix. Look at that. That's like brilliant. Right. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Look at that. It's like a lot of pastels in that one. I like that one. So cool. <gasps> We've got a family over here. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Great job. Great job, Tara and daughter. Thank you. Muda. Muda with the flower on the top. I had to use a watercolor since I didn't have acrylic. That's all right. That looks amazing. Oh, my goodness. How'd you do that? This That's is a nice. That's nice. This is yeah. Orange. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. Orange. Yeah. Orange. Lawrence did it on the iPad. Lawrence, yeah. for sure, for sure. Oh, look at the colors. Awesome different 
color variations there for Mark and and we have Mava. Mava. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. I love that. I love how you whoa dang. Jeffrey Flag. Wow. The Phoenix hummingbird rising from the depths of the treehouse. Or the rac oh by the way, it was the raccoon. I guess the big <laughs> element of that story everyone was missing was that the raccoon snuck into the treehouse and uh, ate everything. Mike? Is this Mike? It is? Who, who is that? Pazdol? Paz? Pa K. Pazdol has one of my, he has my original hummingbird print on. Right now, oh, man. You didn't, Pazzle, you didn't paint one? K Paz. Too busy working on your jams, huh? Just learning how to use Zoom here, first timer. <laughs> Holy cannoli. This guy, man, he used to be best friends with my white rabbit. <laughs> it's another story. <laughs> we ran out of paint. We'll be completing it later on. Oh, well, we can only go together. Danaka Seal. Love that last name. Kiss from a Rose. Yeah, oh, great job. And great job on switching up the color palette there. Wow, this looks like just 20 different fireworks splashed all over the canvas. Great Fourth of July representation. Great form. You stuck the landing. Again, another firework. <laughs> Beautiful expression on that sketch paper here. White, the white hummingbird really pops out. So, Ethan, I think uh, the last time we did this, you picked uh, a favorite yourself. If you guys all, I want did. To... You, you, you know what? I really love it if somebody, if everyone could share their hummingbird and um, maybe tag me or something on social media, uh, Instagram at Ethan Wayne Art, Facebook, Ethan Wayne. I'd love to look at them and, and I'd love to send somebody, the, my favorite one, I'd love to send them a special original painting. That'd be great. Ethan, remember this one? Who's that? Aww. Jeff. Oh. Je wait, Jeff's on there? The, the wedding gift you gave me. I can't see it. Let's go to Jeff, Danny. True Tran. Ten stars. Ten stars. <laughs> Holy cow! Well, I painted. I, I painted my friend Jeff for shears this uh, this beautiful hummingbird piece for his big nuptial events, and here we have it. This was what uh, twenty uh, three seven, years ago. Twenty seven three years ago. Three years, years ago. This guy's been trying to play me in basketball for like the last <laughs> 20 years. Every time we play, he quits. But, uh, man, great job. Great job, Jeff. <laughs> Mish um, and, holy cow, Mish and Char. You guys really yeah, switched up the palettes there. Everyone, make sure uh, that you do uh, share and tag uh, either on the event listing, you guys all know, or on Instagram. Uh, you will definitely have Ethan like pick some of his favorites and I'll send it out to everyone in like the wrap up email, uh, which will also include how you can get in touch with Ethan. I believe Ethan are, you're hosting these, uh, moving forward. Like, uh, are you, you're, you're doing these like on a weekly basis or monthly? Yeah, or right now it's every Thursday at six o'clock Pacific time. And then. I also get subcontracted by a company called Access Elite about once every two weeks to do them too. So accesselite.com. And then my, my website's happyhummingbirds.com, H-U-M-M-N-B-I-R-D-S.com. Hummin. We'll, we'll definitely send it out. Uh, you guys, this is like a, a super – Fun activity like during quarantine or uh, the pandemic, you know, if you have some uh, relatives or friends across the country and, and want to kind of, you know, have a an experience with them. Uh, I, I know Ethan has told me he's 
uh, totally open to kind of like customizing the the performance art that that he has like displayed today. So um, feel free to reach out to him. Uh, you know, he he definitely has has a knack for kind of uh, hosting these things, uh, which is not very difficult to do virtually. So 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 definitely share those, and and uh, we will certainly put you in touch with him if uh, if you're interested in, in following up. All right, so should we wrap it up or does anyone have any other questions or comments? We good? Let's uh, thumb, thumbs up if, uh, if you had a good time. Yeah. Uh, All right. You. Of course, well, Ethan, if you have any last, last uh, words, uh, of wisdom for us. I do. I have a few. I have a just a an outro, if you will. Um, thank you so much for participating today on another episode of Happy Hummingbirds, coming from Zago Studio Gallery in Solana Beach, the northern part of San Diego, and. Um, just make sure that everybody continues to fly on the wings of love. And um, we have a special pain sip guest coming up within the next month. Uh, his name's John Burgundy, Ron Burgundy's brother. He got fired from KUSI KU News. His therapist told him. Maybe you should paint. So look forward to that on Yelp. Cannonball, Scotchy Scotch Scotch, Baxter. You ate the whole bucket of acrylic paint? Not even mad. Kind of impressed. Stay tuned for that one. Thanks, everybody. Ethan Wayne, Ethan Wayne, art.com, zagostudiogallery.com. Peace. Everyone, thank you so much. Uh, please leave us uh, the, your, your feedback on the event listing. Uh, and uh, everyone, stay safe out there, all right? Uh, hopefully, we'll see you at some more virtual events if you want to visit yelpcommunity.com. But uh, this has been super fun. Great to see a lot of your faces. And uh, see you on Yelp, you guys. Thank you. I have some last okay. words. Okay. Who last words. Sure. Who's who's that? E. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your name. I am Andrew. Andrew. Let's hear some last words, buddy. Last words. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? There you go. All right. Well, I've got the last words, Andrew, and I all I have to say is last words. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you guys great. Later. Thank you from New Orleans. Thank you. You're welcome, New Orleans. Thanks for for tuning in. Everybody, please stay safe out there. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Oh, this was hilarious and so fun. We spend a lot of time in San Diego. We will most certainly visit soon. Danny, send up the links, please. Is the circle penny behind you one of the squeegee ones? Yes. This was so much fun. Thank you, Ethan and Yelp. Thank you for organizing this awesome event, Danny. And thank you, Ethan. This was fun. My splattering skills suck. Mine do too. I got it. You can see that too, but there's a question for you there. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, sayonara, painters. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks for joining. All right. Later. <laughs>